I did a survey with, I have two audiences. I have the military audience and I have the supply chain audience. That's the two folks that I work with. And I did a survey like, what is the key to finding a new job? And for the veteran, it was resume. You got to have a perfect resume. Well, you know, that was the blaming, you know, blaming thing. And then for the supply chain community, it was all about networking. And the reason I'm asking this question is, I believe there's a myth that the resume has to be perfect, but we don't have to spend much time on networking because I don't have time or for whatever reason, where the reality is networking is the key to success and your resume, your networking will help you tailor your resume to get that opportunity. Can you elaborate on that? Um, Seal Shield is company number eight for me. Again, early on in my career, I was blitzing through companies every two to three years as part of that rapid uh, change agent within the company. So the past three have been somewhere around like an eight year horizon. All three of those have been uh, by networking for me. Um, either uh, my personal brand was known in between my business and the other business. They may not have known me directly, but because of their affiliation with my business, maybe they knew of my business's success. Okay. Um, the best example, though, is, is here for Seal Shield. I had left my industry because it was steel. I, I was in charge of the largest business unit at the steel mill in Florida, and I did not want to stay, stay in the steel industry. I haven't been there in a large part of my career, but I wanted to do some other things with my career path and check off some boxes uh, in pursuit of being a chief operating officer. Supply chain is what I knew I needed to do, and that opportunity didn't exist there. So I literally left, took some time, met with a number of folks, came up with a marketing plan on, you know, here's the companies I'm going to target, here's a couple of geographical regions. You know, I was literally trying to get my mind around what do I want to be when I grow up. And uh, one of the guys that uh, I went and talked with was historically a judge of Florida's Manufacturer of the Year, uh, where that steel mill had won Manufacturer of the Year a year and a half beforehand. And I was one of the main architects in the change of that business process that allowed a 24-7 operation of 300 people to break records supervisor lists without any supervisors, day or night, seven days a week. Um, that guy was a judge, but he also happened to be a CEO coach of Seal Shield's CEO. And, and so within you know, a, a few weeks of me meeting with him, uh, he had said, hey, there's somebody I think uh, I need to introduce you to because he had already known that Seal Shield was having some operational challenges. And thus began a couple of uh, lunch meetings, which mutated into me going to the headquarters in Orlando and meeting the broader team, and um, you know the, the the rest is history. You know it's it, it's it's been a blessing because it checked off my boxes. It gave me the opportunity to expand my knowledge in supply chain and and help the company and grow a lot of infrastructure that that is paying off right now. That that networking has paid off for me twice significantly. Bill Holmes once. And then remember how I said I had hired uh, two veterans after Bill? Well, we, we were targeting veterans at this point. Um, I had uh, used the power of networking and gotten a connection with somebody at the University of North Florida who acts as a liaison for their entity in, in veterans that are going to college to get a degree to help them handshake into the career place. Um, so, so we were actively targeting to put our job posts out there saying, hey, we want to try to get our name, the job postings out there in front of vets and, and see who bites, see, you know, see who's out there looking. And uh, so that's, you know, six data points within just a matter of a couple of years. Yeah, this just one uh, self-promoting win. SCM jobs, that's one of the things we do. We help transition military into the civilian world. So for the hiring managers who may not have the network definitely reach out to to me. My contact information will be in the in the description to where I, I can help build this network for you. But one of the things that your story was great, and there's lessons on both sides for the military and the civilian side. One, you made a decision to make a change, then you built a plan, and then you executed that plan, and it took time, right? It took time for you to make the decision to make the plan to network with the key individuals. So you had to research the key individuals to help fulfill that plan. 
and then you started to unwrap, un peel the onion to get to where you needed today. So, you know, the message to the military folks is you have to plan. This doesn't, the, the, there's no entitlement. And that's one of the things I believe veterans have inside them based on a lot of things that are going inside the military. Well, people owe you a job. You're entitled to an opportunity. And it's a hard lesson to learn. And it's a hard pill to swallow that. No, we're in the business world now. You have to show your value and be deliberate in what you're trying to do. Is that a fair statement? Uh, the, the word entitlement, um, I, I, I'll tell you, most of the leaders in an organization think that that is a complete turnoff for us, right. but, but it's more, it's more brought up when we talk about today's younger generation, maybe not having the same level of work ethic or go getting, you know, mentality or the pursuit of trying to do something really aggressive to create some level of success. Um, I, I, I do see that in, uh, you know, just in my old age, I guess, you know, in between the generations. Um, I also believed, uh, maybe wrongly so, that I wasn't going to have to worry about that if we were able to find veterans that would fit our organization. So I never really encountered or thought of that they would feel like entitled that they, they deserve a job. But, I, but I'll tell you, in, in, in our business and in a number of other ones I've been a part of, um, you have to earn your way through the organization. Uh, it's it's fine to expect I'm going to be given a shot, but it's not like you're entitled to anything in, in, in getting your foot in the door or else was. The hill for the veterans coming in the business is probably taller than most of the other ones that have some kind of experience because of what I just thought about. But what I'm trying to do is counter that with my experience of having a lot of the other behaviors and disciplines that you don't get a lot of in the commercial place, but you can get a lot of in the military. And if you're willing to exert some time and effort to kind of mentor them, they can turn out to be way better than you might have just hired from, you know, off the street or through a recruiter. Um, so I would, I would absolutely recommend any veteran that's trying to look for a job, do not give any semblance at all of uh, expectation of you deserve this, or you are entitled to have that. Um, that is, that'll be a turnoff for me and a lot of other hiring managers, I think. Please stay away from that.